All right, CBDZ here again with another exciting unboxing. This unboxing, I have to unbox the box that it comes in. It comes in a box, so I have to unbox the box first. Uh, this is the shipping box that this comes in. And if the guy is right, he told me this is a laptop, which means that the title of this video is only a mystery to me because you guys already know the title of this video because you're looking at it right now. Alright, let's get this out of here. Put my knife down so I don't hurt anybody. You know, it's only me in the room, so so I don't hurt myself, really. Oh, yeah. Alrighty. What did we buy? We bought... Ugh. You can't even see it. This is a laptop, definitely. We bought an Acer V15 Nitro Black Edition. Let's see what they have to say on the outside. They have that to say the same thing on the top. A very nice photo on the front, which is a little dark for you because the lights are in the wrong position for this. On the side, it sells. It says that there's an Intel processor, which is good because AMD processor is not what I want. Here, we'll just read from the back. This is going to be a really boring experience, but all the information is on the back. This is the Windows 8.1 64-bit with a Intel Core i7-4710HQ, uh, 56... Or 56 a uh, 15.6 inch full HD, which is 1080p uh, LCD with a NVIDIA 860M. 16 gigabytes of DDR3, which is wrong. I'm pretty sure I ordered the 12 gigabyte one, but I'm not going to complain if they gave me four extra gigabytes. It has an 8 gig SSD with a hundred, or a hundred, a thousand gigabyte hybrid uh, HDD, which means I believe that it just uses the 8 gigs as a scratch disk for uh, recently opened programs and stuff like that. It has no optical drive. It has Bluetooth 8, 2, and 11. Uh, it has a crystal I HD webcam. A three cell polymer battery. It comes with a Microsoft Office trial, which is useless to me. And then it says the exact same thing in French. So let's get this open. It comes with some seals. And I assume because this is the black edition, it's going to be, like, all nice and pretty inside, so I'll take the top off uh, when we get... I'll put it on the table. Take the top off. Oh, I already got junk on it. Oh, man. Here we go. Is this on the camera? Yes. Ugh. Okay, I expected maybe a little more. This looks like Razer... Uh, sort of... Um, sorry, there was something on the, the top of the box. You can't see it because it's all black. It has like a little bump on here to keep the laptop from bouncing around. All right, so I've never actually owned a laptop before, so this looks like a good experience with my first one. Let's dig into the accessory box first. We have, uh, let's see, this is a three pin. You have to actually put it where the camera can see it. We've got a three pin or a, just a normal wall to this weird three pin prong here. Sorry, the uh, camera's a little off to the side today because I needed it to be out of the way. And then we've got a power brick, which is a normal looking power brick, for me at least. And then nothing else in there. And then it looks like we just have that and a laptop. And that's it. Let's check underneath first. Oh, do not drop your brand new laptop on the floor, Civi. Alright. So we have a book that tells us how to use Windows. That's great. Thanks. It tells me how to turn it on in Spanish. Okay. And then it has build your own cloud. And a book. Do we have any discs? Well, I guess this is diskless, so. No discs. I don't know that back in there and then let's look at the laptop itself which keeps thinking it needs to slide out of this case here we go Whoosh. oh this kind of feels nice Ooh, that is pretty nice look at that boom perfectly black on the top a little bit of you probably won't be able to see it but there's a little bit of lines going down the front and it's cold because it just came out of the thing it has a tasteful acer logo which I might try and remove. And then Aspire Nitro V on the back gold or uh, silver there. 
which is actually like a it's like a dark black sort of variety which makes it less ugly we open it up and we got this keyboard cover which we don't want it says black edition on the uh, on the uh, touchpad which is one of those split touchpads uh, we've got a full keyboard with no mistakes by the looks of it. Uh, I think that the uh, that these uh, the numpad here is sh small but usable, which is important. And it looks like we've got all the right keys. Long backspace. We've got this thing, which I'm totally fine with having the button here and then having a long enter. So the enter is a little weird. Big shift button. Little shift, oh, little shift button over here. Oh man, I'm gonna be totally hitting this all the time. Okay, so let's see if we can turn this on. The cold might have drained the battery. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Maybe we actually need to look at that material it gave us. Uh, let's look at the bottom. Or let's look at the uh, the overall design while we look at that. So, on the left side here, we've got nothing except for a Kingston lock. On the back, we've got nothing but air. And on the right is where all the action is, which you can't see. So, you know. Uh, we're just going to keep... I think the camera's trying to do something. It's freaking out at me. We're just going to keep driving. Uh, it has an R, RJ90 whatever port. We've got our power. We've got some LEDs. We've got some HDMI. Three super speed um, USBs on the side. And I'm going out of the camera shot that you can't see. And then we've got a combo headphone microphone jack, which I hate. I hate combo microphone jacks, but I'll live with it. I also have to buy a, uh, buy a uh, connector for it. So this whole thing has like that soft touch kind of feel on it, which is rather nice. And uh, I don't know what else to say about it. We've got a laptop. It's old for right now, but uh, hopefully it's still good. Zero to zero. Signing out.